it's a very hot topic right yeah. now um, and something that impacts a lot of people's lives and the great thing about um, the program as well as it focuses on the human rights and society side so it's not all political in terms of that stuff it it really delves into the more like emotional issues as well so it's a really it's a well-rounded place and program G'day, I'm Rob, and today I'm with Ellen from AIM Overseas. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Great, thanks for coming in. Um, well, I'd love to ask you about the Immigrants Program mm -hmm. in, in Mexico. So um, let's start by maybe talking a little bit about this destination. What's kind yep. of cool about this destination for the program? So the program um, is run in Mexico City, which I think is a perfect location for this program. And also you're amongst Mexico City. It's like a very vibrant city. The population of Mexico City is actually the same as all of Australia, so it's pretty insane. Um, I've been there myself and it's like a great city to do any kind of programs in, especially related to immigrants, migration, all that kind of stuff. But it's very relevant today. So, What did you enjoy most about Mexico City? Uh, the people, the food, the culture, the language, it's all really... Like it's a vibrant place for sure. It's so amazing, isn't it? I mean from La Condesa, which is like this yes, kind of historical... Yeah, yeah. Um, quaint part of town, mm -hmm. very, very safe um, around the university. Yeah. And then suddenly you go outside the city and you're like, yeah. oh wow, there's there's pyramids that are like yeah. thousand years old. It's so <laughs> diverse. You have the city with all these amazing things and like Rob said, the mm. La Condesa, it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, there's so much variety. Like it's, it's a great place, yeah. really. Honestly, uh, the, the, the best museum I've been to any in the world, yeah. the National um, Archaeology Museum. Oh, really? I don't know if you went there. No, that sounds amazing. <sighs> Absolutely insane. Cool. Anyway, we digress. Um, let's talk about let's talk about um, this topic of, of migration. Mm -hmm. um, why is this imp so important right now? Well, migration is always going to be something that's like relevant in our society. Um, but particularly in Mexico and the U.S., there's always been like an interesting relationship between mm. those two countries. More recently, with uh, Trump being elected in power, there has been a few policies like the Migrant Protection Protocol, which is essentially putting migrants who want to come to America from Mexico back in Mexico for the waiting period. And this is causing like a lot of uh, trauma and a lot of issues for both, I would say, America and Mexican mm -hmm. citizens. So it's pretty relevant right now. Um, there's been thousands and thousands of cases of things going on with that. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very relevant place to do this program. It's fascinating. I, I read this article about um, migration between Mexico and America, and basically researchers from Harvard had found that when the border was open, mm. there was less illegal migration to the US, yep. because essentially it was economic migration. People would cross the border to go and work and earn more money, but of course they want to be with their families mm. back yeah. home. And so they were, it was basically temporary migration. People would go and come back, mm. and it was actually beneficial to both countries. And then when they started shutting down the border and locking things down, it's actually created this yeah. artificial problem. Yeah. Where you've also got you know migration coming up through Central America and hitting this kind of like artificial wall, um, which is yeah really problematic. Yeah, it's mm. a very it's a very hot topic right yeah. now, um, and something that impacts a lot of people's lives. And the great thing about um, the program as well as it focuses on the human rights and society side so it's not all political in terms of that stuff it, it really delves into the more like emotional issues as well so it's a really it's a well-rounded place and program perfect tell me what the students will learn about on the program yeah so the students will learn about a range of things from kind of the policies surrounding the migration program um, but also they get to do some really cool road trips and stuff like that. So they get to do a side visit to a detention centre, which is going to be, I would imagine, very eye-opening. Yeah. They'll also do an actual like simulated walk or a simulated kind of border trek. Border crossing. Yeah, border crossing. Yeah, it's really amazing. Like, um, I saw some footage of it. It's like, it looks really cool. They just have to kind of go through this kind of course, I guess. and. Yeah, it simulates what it at would night. be like. Yeah, at, at night. At like 11 p.m. Yeah. at night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly, so. out of all the programs we run, if there was one activity that I would want to go yeah. and do, the, the border crossing simulation yeah. on this yeah. program would, would absolutely be it. And that's yeah, saying something. Yeah, for sure. It yeah. looks really cool. 
So what about things outside the classroom? What sort of other extracurricular activities will students yep. get to do as part of this program? So there's an amazing trip to the pyramids. Mm -hmm. I think they're called the Sun and Moon Pyramid. I actually went on them uh, when I went to my Mexico program, which was a really great experience. It's good to kind of get out there and you get to climb them and everything, which is really great um, that it's actually, that you can still do that. So that's a fantastic thing to do. There's also a river cruise, I believe, um, along one of the very famous rivers in Mexico. And it's, it's, it's a great experience. You get to go through all these kind of canals and stuff. Oh, Xochimilco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xochimilco, yeah. It's that's cool, it's the like one. these barges. <laughs> they call it the Venice of, Venice of Mexico. It's like these, these canals. Yeah. And they got mariachis. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, playing on the barges. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds really good. And what else can students expect from like um, an international study experience in general? Like what's mm -hmm. the benefit of them doing this kind of experience? Yeah, so the benefit of doing kind of a short term program like this is firstly, it's a short term program. You know, you only have to be gone for three to four weeks, so it's not a major commitment. Um, but in those three to four weeks, you have like a jam packed curriculum where you can experience kind of a semester long exchange in this tiny period of time. It also means it's like a really intense experience in terms of the friendships you make. I know I still have friends from my program and they live all over Australia, but we still manage to keep in touch, which is amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Um, it's so rewarding also professionally and socially like it's just great for your own personal development i couldn't recommend it high, highly like it's really great sensational yeah it's great to chat with you Alan. thanks for your time yeah thank you thank you